Disney Pixar's Finding Dory. Story adapted by Amy Novosky. Illustrated by Satoshi Hashimoto. This is Dory. Dory is forgetful. When Dory was young, her parents collected shells and made trails for her to follow so she would always find her way home. One day, Dory spotted a pretty purple shell in the distance. She wasn't allowed to swim that far, but Dory forgot. Dory was just about to pick up the shell when swoosh! She was pulled away by the undertow. Suddenly, Dory was all alone. She couldn't find her way home. Eventually, she forgot what she was looking for. No one was able to help. And then she crashed into Marlin. Marlin was far from home, too. He was looking for his son, Nemo. Ah! Dory helped Marlin cross the ocean and find Nemo. She went to live with them in the coral reef. She finally had a new home. One day, Dory went with Nemo's class on a field trip to see the stingray migration. Dory got pulled into the undertow. When Dory returned to safety, she was flooded with memories of her mom and dad. She remembered where she was from. Dory wanted to go home. With the help of some old friends, Marlin and Nemo joined Dory on her trip across the ocean. All the way to Morrow Bay, where she was scooped up and taken away. Dory found herself in a tank inside the Marine Life Institute. This is where she was from. A cranky septopus. A seven-armed octopus named Hank greeted Dory and agreed to help her find her family. He had three hearts, after all. But Dory was tossed into the whale shark pool, which is where she met Destiny. Destiny heard Dory speak whale. She couldn't believe it. Dory, is that you? When Dory lived in the Marine Life Institute, Dory and Destiny had been pipe pals. They used to talk through the pipes that connected their tanks. Destiny knew where Dory had grown up. Your whale has gotten really good, Destiny said. Thank you. Hank soon joined them. Dory told Destiny and her neighbor, Bailey, a beluga whale, that she was looking for her family. Destiny told Dory to take the pipes to the open ocean exhibit. That was where she would find her family. Dory was worried she would get lost in the pipes, so she found another way. Hank and Dory rolled, swam, and swung across the Institute to the open ocean exhibit. Dory was sad to say goodbye to Hank. She would miss him, but he wanted to go to Cleveland. You'll miss me in a heartbeat, three heartbeats. 
Now go find your family, said Hank. Dory asked around for help, but no one knew where her family was. Then she saw something. Dory found her house, but it was empty. Suddenly, Dory was filled with memories. She remembered her mom and dad hugging her. She had to find them. Dory spotted a purple shell in the distance. As she swam towards it, she met a crab who told her if she went through the pipes, she would find her parents. She followed the directions and ended up in the ocean. She was all alone again. Dory worried that she would never find her way home. Then she spotted another shell and another. Dory followed a trail of shells and she found her mom and dad. Dory was home again surrounded by her family and all of her friends. The end. I hope you've enjoyed this story, Finding Dory. I hope you'll come back again for more stories by Grandma.